Hey, Lisa, how was your weekend? Hey, Sarah, it was great. Thanks for asking. I met my friends for coffee on Saturday morning. Oh, that sounds like fun. Where do you usually go? We have this cozy little cafe in downtown that we love. The coffee is amazing, and they have the best pastries, too. That sounds delightful. How often do you meet up with your friends for coffee? We try to make it a weekly tradition, so almost every weekend. It's a nice way to catch up and unwind after a busy week. I can imagine. It's important to make time for those moments of relaxation and connection. What do you usually talk about during your coffee outings? Oh, we talk about everything and anything. From work gossip to sharing our latest hobbies or interests, it's just a chance to enjoy each other's company and escape from daily stress. That sounds lovely. I've been thinking of reconnect with some old friends myself. Maybe I should suggest a coffee outing like yours. Definitely. It's always nice to catch up with friends over a cup of coffee. Plus, it's a great way to explore new cafes and support local businesses. You're right. I'll have to do some research and find a nice spot to meet up. Thanks for the inspiration, Lisa. Anytime, Sarah. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure your friends will appreciate the gesture. Hey, Lisa. How was your weekend? Hey, Sarah. It was great. Thanks for asking. I met my friends for coffee on Saturday morning. Oh, that sounds like fun. Where do you usually go? We have this cozy little cafe in downtown that we love. The coffee is amazing, and they have the best pastries, too. That sounds delightful. How often do you meet up with your friends for coffee? We try to make it a weekly tradition, so almost every weekend. It's a nice way to catch up and unwind after a busy week. I can imagine. It's important to make time for those moments of relaxation and connection. What do you usually talk about during your coffee outings? Oh, we talk about everything and anything. From work gossip to sharing our latest hobbies or interests, it's just a chance to enjoy each other's company and escape from daily stress. That sounds lovely. I've been thinking of reconnect with some old friends myself. Maybe I should suggest a coffee outing like yours. Definitely. It's always nice to catch up with friends over a cup of coffee. Plus, it's a great way to explore new cafes and support local businesses. You're right. I'll have to do some research and find a nice spot to meet up. Thanks for the inspiration, Lisa. Anytime, Sarah. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure your friends will appreciate the gesture. What does Sarah suggest is important when meeting friends for coffee? What does Sarah suggest is important when meeting friends for coffee? Hey, Lisa, what have you been up to lately? Hi, Sarah. Not much. Just been cooking dinner while listening to some music. That sounds like a relaxing way to relax after a long day. What kind of music do you listen to while cooking? Oh, I listen to a mix of everything, depending on my mood. Sometimes it's upbeat pop music to keep me energized, and other times it's mellow jazz or classical music to help me relax. That's interesting. I never thought about listening to music while cooking, but it sounds like a great idea. Does it make the cooking process more enjoyable for you? Definitely. It sets a nice ambiance in the kitchen and makes the whole experience more enjoyable. Plus, it helps me get into a rhythm while chopping and stirring. I can see how that would be helpful. Do you have any favorite songs or artists that you always listen to while cooking? Hmm, there are a few. I really enjoy listening to Nora Jones or Frank Sinatra while I cook. Their music just seems to complement the process perfectly. That sounds great. Maybe I'll have to try it out sometime. Do you have any other cooking rituals or tips besides listening to music? Well, besides listening to music, I always make sure to prep all my ingredients before I start cooking. It saves time and keeps me organized in the kitchen. That's a good tip. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing, Lisa. No problem, Sarah. Let me know if you ever want to cook together sometime. We can cook a delicious meal while enjoying some music.
Hey, Lisa, what have you been up to lately? Hi, Sarah. Not much. Just been cooking dinner while listening to some music. That sounds like a relaxing way to relax after a long day. What kind of music do you listen to while cooking? Oh, I listen to a mix of everything, depending on my mood. Sometimes it's upbeat pop music to keep me energized, and other times it's mellow jazz or classical music to help me relax. That's interesting. I never thought about listening to music while cooking, but it sounds like a great idea. Does it make the cooking process more enjoyable for you? Definitely. It sets a nice ambiance in the kitchen and makes the whole experience more enjoyable. Plus, it helps me get into a rhythm while chopping and stirring. I can see how that would be helpful. Do you have any favorite songs or artists that you always listen to while cooking? Hmm, there are a few. I really enjoy listening to Nora Jones or Frank Sinatra while I cook. Their music just seems to complement the process perfectly. That sounds great. Maybe I'll have to try it out sometime. Do you have any other cooking rituals or tips besides listening to music? Well, besides listening to music, I always make sure to prep all my ingredients before I start cooking. It saves time and keeps me organized in the kitchen. That's a good tip. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing, Lisa. No problem, Sarah. Let me know if you ever want to cook together sometime. We can cook a delicious meal while enjoying some music. Why does Lisa enjoy listening to music while cooking? Why does Lisa enjoy listening to music while cooking? Hey Lisa, how's your day going? Hi, Sarah. It's been pretty busy. I've been trying to check off everything on my to-do list for the day. Ah, the to-do list. I keep hearing about how helpful those can be. Do you make one every day? Yeah, I try to. It helps me stay organized and focused on what needs to get done. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just doing nothing. That makes sense. What kind of things do you usually include on your to-do list? Oh, it varies depending on the day. But it usually includes tasks like grocery shopping, household chores, work-related assignments, and any personal errands I need to run. Sounds like a comprehensive list. Do you find that it helps you manage your time better? Definitely. It gives me a sense of structure and helps me prioritize my tasks. Plus, there's something so satisfying about crossing things off the list as I complete them. I can imagine. It must feel great to see your progress throughout the day. Do you have any tips for someone who's thinking about starting a to-do list? Sure. I'd say start small and be realistic about what you can accomplish in a day. And don't forget to break larger tasks into smaller and more manageable ones. That way, you're less likely to feel overwhelmed. That's really helpful advice, Lisa. I think I'll give it a try myself. Thanks for sharing. No problem, Sarah. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure you'll find it helpful in staying organized and productive. Hey, Lisa. How's your day going? Hi, Sarah. It's been pretty busy. I've been trying to check off everything on my to-do list for the day. Ah, the to-do list. I keep hearing about how helpful those can be. Do you make one every day? Yeah, I try to. It helps me stay organized and focused on what needs to get done. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just doing nothing. That makes sense. What kind of things do you usually include on your to-do list? Oh, it varies depending on the day, but it usually includes tasks like grocery shopping, household chores, work-related assignments, and any personal errands I need to run. Sounds like a comprehensive list. Do you find that it helps you manage your time better? Definitely. It gives me a sense of structure and helps me prioritize my tasks. Plus, there's something so satisfying about crossing things off the list as I complete them. I can imagine. It must feel great to see your progress throughout the day. Do you have any tips for someone who's thinking about starting a to-do list? Sure. I'd say start small and be realistic about what you can accomplish in a day. And don't forget to break larger tasks into smaller and more manageable ones. That way, you're less likely to feel overwhelmed.
That's really helpful advice, Lisa. I think I'll give it a try myself. Thanks for sharing. No problem, Sarah. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure you'll find it helpful in staying organized and productive. What kind of tasks does Lisa usually include on her to-do list? What kind of tasks does Lisa usually include on her to-do list?